Hello everyone, this is Bonus and today's video is all about the cooking sugar stages, right? This is very important because if you want to be a pastry chef, then this is something which is very very important to know about sugar. When it comes to sugar, we generally think that it's going to give you a flavor, color and sweetener agent, right? But no, there are a lot more things. So let's figure it out and start the session. Let's start. The process of modifying sugar means the pure granulated sucrose, right? By dissolving it in a little water and then heating it without stirring to a various temperature. Two, produce various non-crystalline consistency until finally there is a caramelization, right? Which change its flavor and chemical composition. So here you can see the pure granulated sugar right dissolving with a little water and heating without stirring right we're not gonna stir slowly gradually it will start heating up right due to that heating it will start various non-crystalline consistency at the last we'll see the change in flavor and chemical composition so this is all about the modifying sugar process in easy way if you see जो ग्रैनुलेटेड शुगर होते हैं जो मार्केट में मिलता है राइट सो जब हम उसको पैन में डालते हैं एक्चुअली इसका एक रेसिपी होता है ठीक है पैन में हम शुगर डाल देंगे और थोड़ा सा पानी ऐड करते हैं तो जो हीट होता है उससे क्या होता है एक फ्लेवर और केमिकल चेंज होता है सो वो एक जो धीरे 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 जो हीट बढ़ रहा है उससे मीन्स जो टेम्परेचर बढ़ रहा है या धीरे धीरे हो रहा है तो उससे क्या होता है वो कैरमलाइज होता है शुगर राइट शुगर कैरमलाइज होता है तो वो जो स्टेजेस होता है उस स्टेजेस में आपको कौन सा स्टेज में चाहिए आपका शुगर राइट क्योंकि हर एक चीज का एक स्टेज होता है फॉर इटालियन मैक्रोन आई रिक्वायर्ड इटालियन मिरैंक सो हाउ आई गेट फॉर द इटालियन मिरैंक आई रिक्वायर्ड माई शुगर टू बी वन हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन सेल्सियस ठीक है विच इज अफ्ट बॉल स्टेज सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वॉट यू मेकिंग एंड वॉट टेम्परेचर यू रिक्वायर्ड योर शुगर टू बी दिस इज द सिंपल प्रोसेस वेर यू विल स्टार्ट रीचिंग to the certain temperature and you will stop with the help of your thermometer right you just have to continue to check the temperature and then you have to withdraw your sugar from the stuff and use it as required clear with this this is the next so here the stages temperature and ice water test if you don't have a thermometer then you can use ice water so first when we have a thread structure right 113 celsius which is a thread when dropped side make bowl mein ice water rakhega wahan pe theek hai and then just a drop a little bit of a sugar syrup which is cooking right so it will form as a thread when it will drop theek hai and when comes to 113 celsius is a thread then comes to soft ball is 116 celsius form a soft ball firm ball 119 celsius forms a firm ball right then we have a hard ball which is a 127 celsius form a hard compact ball stages sugar stages and this is the temperature where we get these stages right and to check if you don't have a thermometer you can use ice water and this is what you generally going to get you see next soft crack 132 celsius is going to be the separate into a hard thread then comes to hard crack 149 celsius hard brittle sheet then we have a caramel which is 165 plus celsius right which is the liquid turn brown and here we have the last which is a black jack black jack means basically just turn completely black clear which is in 200 celsius means burned sugar but if the sugar burn you can't use it in any product right it will be a, a very bitter bitter in taste the flavor just not acceptable right but how you can use it if your sugar burns once the mixture has cooled means the blackjack mixture has cooled a small amount or quantity is used to color baked goods right mainly breads when you baking bread and if you need a little bit of color in the bread then add this blackjack in a very less amount clear and you will get a nice color and yeah the the bitterness will not going to be that much because we are adding a very a little in our bread dough so you won't get that clear so this is about the stages if you want to be a professional pastry chef this plays a very important role right don't forget this let me show you how to remember you can see 3 6 9 3 3 three, right then 127 means in a one slot right when comes 27 then straight in 30 in 30s like 32 then completely in 40s means 49 then straight 65 and then 200 this is like my trick to remember the first three is like 3 6 9 then we have a 27 straight 27 then 32 49 65 200 
try to use trick to remember don't just mug clear with this guys this is the next let's figure out that how sugar really work and how and what it does to our product so here i have some important note about the sugar like do we do we really use sugar only for the flavor and the sweetener no there are a lot of things let's figure it out beyond its contribution as a sweetener and a flavor enhancer interacts with the molecule of protein or starch during baking and cooking process right they interact with the protein and the starch during the cooking process number 2 acts as a tenderizer by absorbing water and and inhibiting flour gluten development as well as delaying starch gelatinization clear sugar works as a tenderizer right it just keep your product tender and also it delaying the starch gelatinization next incorporates air into shortening in the creaming process when we creaming we means the sugar and the butter hence incorporating air in the creaming method clear so the next caramelize under heat to provide cooked and baked food with a pleasing color and aroma it gives us color because on certain temperature the sugar get caramelized and also gives a color to our product and when comes to heat action because the heat can change the flavor of sugar and also change in chemically right so the next speeds the growth of a yeast by providing nourishment right yeast eat sugar to produce co2 and for that reason it speed the growth of a yeast with the help of temperature moisture if you want to know more about the yeast like how yeast work and everything about yeast so i'll share the link in the description box you can easily check next serves as a whipping aid to stabilize beaten egg foam right so the sugar will help slowly and gradually stabilizing the beaten egg right when comes to the foaming method foaming method right this is how the sugar helps when comes to foaming method right it stabilizes the beaten egg foams delaying the coagulation of a egg protein in custard when it comes to custard the eggs which is present in the custard it start cooking up right but due to adding of a sugar it delays the coagulation process so the egg won't get cook faster right it just delays the coagulation process due to sugar so the next helps to prevent the spoilage jelly and preserves how you can see here it absorbs water right if your product doesn't have a much of water means moisture so definitely it won't get spoil soon why because moisture is all about oxidizing faster right if you have a less moisture then definitely it will not going to spoil soon as compared to the other product which has moisture clear so this is all about sugar improves the appearance and tenderness of a canned fruit because the canned fruit are not getting oxidized and it has a sugar syrup in it so it will improve the appearance right it will look fresh and it won't get spoiled because it's not oxidized and the second thing is that the sugar syrup is coating the whole product right so it won't get spoiled and also it will look tender and also it will give you a fresh appearance clear delays discoloration of the surface of a frozen fresh fruit and has the smoothness and flavor of ice cream exactly you know sugar plays a very important role when it comes to ice cream required a certain temperature to cook and then when we add in the ice cream it gives a smoothness right can say like a silkiness when we scoop our ice cream is due to the sugar control the reforming of a crystallized through inversion of breaking down of a fructose and glucose don't be confused i'll tell you that what is fructose and what is glucose Soon I'm going to introduce a new chapter which is all about the fructose and glucose and the sucrose right what are those for example fructose means the sugar which we gets from the fruits those are called fructose like that fructose glucose and sucrose there are three i hope you guys are were clear with this that how sugar helps in a lot way right it's not about just a sweetener or flavor it helps in a many thing this is very very important when it comes to a pastry chef right i hope you guys clear with the sugar stages please do remember don't just mark up and how sugar really helps in a different way clear 
I'll see you in the next video. Till then, status of cooked sugar. Right? <laughs> bye bye.